Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. How was your weekend? Mm, relax. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Um, uh, I rest in my house. Hey, I visited my mother. Ah, okay. That looks like good. How about you guys? How was your weekend? Uh -huh. What do you do? Anything interesting during the weekend, everyone? Just resting. <laughs> Only rest? Okay. Anyone else? Ah, I can see Carlos Mauricio. Hello, Carlos. Welcome back. Thank you, teacher. How are you? Uh, so far, so good. Thank you. Very good. Welcome to the class. I'm happy to see you here. Thank you. I can see Amanda, too. Hello, Amanda. How are you? Hello, very good. Thank you. How was your weekend? Um, it was a little busy. I had a little small hospital uh, in-house. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. And I can see Edwin. Hello, Edwin. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. How was your weekend? That's good. Nice. Excellent. And I rest. You rested? Okay. Yeah, that's great. Excellent. And I can see Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Hi, teacher. Good night. This is my first time in class because I was sick. I know. I know. Amanda told us. So how do you feel? Well, I I didn't feel so good, uh, but I'm trying to to come back. Okay. That's good. So welcome to the class. I'm really happy to see you here. And I hope that you get totally better soon. All right? Thanks. Thanks, teacher. Excellent. Um, let's see. Thank you guys for being on time. Thank you for the one who has the camera on. Who else is there? Kevin. Hello, Kevin. How are you? How was your weekend? Hello. Um, um, I just uh, take care of, of my dogs because one of one of one of my dogs is sick, so I was taking care of her. Oh, all right. I'm sorry to hear that, but I hope that your pet gets better soon. Thank you. Very good. All right, everybody, it's Monday. So I hope that you are ready to learn. I hope that all of you has a lot of energies, right? <laughs> or are you tired? Uh huh. Tired. <laughs> I can it's see Andrea, but I can see I can see Andrea getting ready with the coffee, right? <laughs> That's it. I should. <laughs> okay. Do you remember the topic that we studied last week? Yes. What was the topic? The last topic was uh, a speech report. It's switch reported. Uh, reported speech. That's the one. Now, that's we, we are going to continue studying that topic. Of course, we are going to include some vocabulary and we are going to have reading practice, writing practice, and of course, as always, speaking practice. Now, before starting, I just want to confirm, can everybody listen to me very well? Yes? Yes, yes. yes. no problem. Yes. Excellent. So if during the class, you cannot listen to me or something, just let me know, please, and we can see how we can fix it. Now, guys, let me start sharing the presentation. Let's see. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes, yes teacher. Excellent. So today, guys, is August 14th. 
Now, if you remember, we are working on the unit number one. So I'm going to share with you the progress on the platform. Um, I can see some people already started to work on the platform. Mm, however, not everybody has started. Can you see the platform that I'm sharing? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, look at this one. I can see Amanda has worked. She already has 80% and very good. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Let's see. I can see Carlos Mauricio already worked on the platform. He has 40%. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I can see. Look at this one. Edwin, 80%. And I like that. Um, Eulice Torres also has worked 52%. Nice job. Let's see. Look at this one. Salvador, 96%. Very good progress. That's excellent. Cosman Atilio, 20%. Very good. Very good. Uh, Pamela, 80%. That's great too. Very good progress. Um, let's see, I have Ricardo Ernesto, 40%. You have some progress, that's great. Sifrida Ernesto, too, 40%. Nice. And Wilbur with the 80%, very good job. So, if you see, guys, I can see some progress in some of you. Um, not everybody has finished uh, the unit number one. Remember, guys, that the idea is to finish one unit per week, okay? I know that we started uh, on Wednesday, that it was the middle of the week. But basically, guys, for tomorrow, um, you have to finish the unit number one, okay? So some of you have zero progress. So it would be, like, pretty difficult to reach uh, or to finish all the unit number one by tomorrow, right? So my recommendation, everybody, is that we always have to try to work on the platform little by little, okay? I recommend you to work at least 10 minutes every day, then two hours only one day, right? It's much easier. So please try to work on the platform, try to advance because uh, I don't want you guys to leave the platform by the last minute. Okay, any questions so far about the platform? No questions? Um, yes, I have a question, teacher. Yes? Go ahead. Uh, I was checking the first session, the first section in the, in the unit but uh, some video are, are the same. Uh, I don't know if it's correct or, or not. Oh, okay. In that case, guys, if it is the same video, I mean, I totally recommend you to watch the videos, okay? Um, and then remember that, well, I'm going to share with you uh, the platform again. So this is the unit number one. In the first video, that is this one, can you see it? It's basically the class that we had the first day, then we have the homework, then you will see a video again. If you see that is the same video, I mean, it's okay, you can omit it, especially if you were here in the class. If you weren't here in the class, my recommendation is to watch it. Now, in the first option, again, that is the first class. In the second video is the second class. So the idea is this. If you weren't in the class, you have the opportunity to watch the class again here. Or you can go to the playlist on YouTube and rewatch the class. That is for the people who couldn't be in the class or if you were a listener and you want to understand a little bit better the topic, okay? 
that is the reason of the videos. I mean, the background is the same, but if you see the title is different. So that is the idea with the videos, okay? Understood? Yes, no, the situation is in the first class when when when, I, when we start the, the session, uh, all of the videos are the same. If you ah. go to the four video, and yes, you see something um, like my name is, I don't know. With this <laughs> guy. That, right? that exactly. Yeah. Yeah, what so that was uh -huh. that was the reason for my question, but I understand now what is the <laughs> yes, what is the way? Yeah, what happens is that it's not updated. Remember mm. that the idea is that here we can have the videos for our classes, mm. but for example, mm -hmm. by next day that we already have the class, mm -hmm. it's going to appear the video for today. Exactly. Okay, okay. Exactly. thank you, thank you. You're very welcome. Is there any other question, guys, about the platform? No? Okay, so please work on it. Try to advance, please, because I can see some people with zero progress. So let's try to start. And remember what I always say. If suddenly you find an exercise, <clears throat> sorry, that you don't know how to do it, you can take a screenshot and send it on WhatsApp group, okay? And we can try to help each other to resolve it, or I can take some minutes in the next class so we can resolve it together here in the class, okay? Now, before starting, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, Let's see, Amanda Zamora. Oh, sorry, present. Okay, uh, Ana Lorena. Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander. Present teacher. All right. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Mauricio. Present. Very good. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Excellent. Elias Neftali. Elias Neftali. Okay. Eulise Torres. Present. Very good. Irma Evelyn. Oh, there you are. Yeah, sí, present teacher. <laughs> it's okay, thank you. Um, Jose Salvador. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Josman Atilio. Cosman Atilio. Okay. Kevin Alexander. Present. Very good. Kevin Alfredo. Kevin Alfredo. Maria Jose. Maria Jose. Okay. Nelson Alberto. Nelson Alberto. Oscar Alexis. Present teacher. Very good. Osman Enrique. Present teacher. All right. Pamela Carolina. Present. Very good. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Ricardo Ernesto. Oh, I think he's listener. Sifrido Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Wilber Alberto. Wilber Alberto. Okay. Ana, oh, I'm sorry, Andrea Yamilet. Present. Okay, pretty good. Excellent. Okay, let's start, guys. As your classmates mentioned before, the topics that we studied the last week was reported speech. So we are going to continue practicing that topic, but we are going to include some other details. Now, this is the topic that we are going to study, describe tips to apply when shopping online. Okay, this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. 
me to share. Yes, go ahead. Describe tips to apply when shopping online. Class object objective. At the end of the class, participants will learn how to describe tips to apply when shopping online using for speech. Thank you. That's the one. So we are going to give tips. Okay, so let's see how good your tips are. But before that, guys, let's have a quick review about the topics that we studied last week. I hope that the ones that couldn't be in the class could watch the video so you can understand the topics that we studied. So in the reported speech, guys, what was that? What is the characteristics of the reported speech? Let's see, what do you remember? Uh, change, change the, the noun and change the, 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 the verb. Ah, when, when, when I, uh, you, uh, repeat uh, exactly uh -huh. you say. Mm -hmm. Say. Okay. Meet, meet yeah. Go ahead. I think uh, the difference in the report speech uh, speech uh, is uh, when somebody share the same idea but uh, with others words. Very good. That is something important. Remember that the, in the reported speech, we don't say exactly the same words because as your classmate mentioned, we change some details. For example, we change the pronouns, if you remember. And also we change the verb and we pass the verb into the past tense. And here we got an example. Imagine that I have this man. Imagine that the name of this man is, I don't know, Juan, for example. So Juan says, I feel hungry. Okay? Look at the details. The pronoun is I. What is the grammar tense? Feel. Is in present? Is in past? Is in future? Is in present. In present. Is in simple present. So, as I mentioned before, we have two types of speech. We have the direct speech is when we use quotation. It's more to um, to say exactly word by word. But this kind of direct speech is more common when we use it in books, right? When we want to uh, repeat what a famous person said, for example, and we say, ah, well, Juan or Sam, and we say, said, I feel hungry. Did I change something? Look, the same pronoun, the same verb. Did I change something? No. Not really, it's exactly no. the same. But as I mentioned in the previous class, we are not going to use the direct speech because that is not common when we are speaking. When we are speaking, the ones that is common is the reported. And what is the characteristic of the reported? First of all, we need to change the pronoun. Instead of saying I, if I'm talking about Sam, what are we going to say? He. He. And he. second thing that we need to keep in mind is that we are going to change the verb into simple past. What is the past form of feel? Felt. Felt. So we are going to say, oh. Sam said he felt hungry. hungry. What hungry. happens with the uh, word that? Why the word what uh, that is in parentheses? Why? Because if it, it is optional. optional. That's the one. Because it is optional. If you want, you can say, ah, Sam said that he felt hungry. Or you cannot say it. For example, Sam said he felt hungry. Okay? is totally optional. Got it? Yes? 
Yes. Clear? Yes. yes. Okay, let's have a practice. Look at this. I have here different sentences. And we are going to repeat what this person says. Mm, but let's see. Let me try to do it bigger so you can see it bigger. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, look at this one. I have here different sentences. For example, the number one. Imagine that the name of the woman is Kelly. So the sentence number one says, my kids are at home. So what did she say? So look at this. We are going to change the information. Ah, Kelly said, can I say my? No. No, because oh. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about her. So we are going to say her. Remember, we need to change the pronouns. So, her kids, and then I have the verb to be are. What is the verb to be are in past? Was. Mm. Where. Was, was or where? Where, where, where. Where, is. remember, was is for singular. In this case, yes. we say where. where. So, Kelly said that her kids were at home. Simple like that. Just remember the two rules. Change the pronoun and change the verb in past. Now, I need a volunteer. Who wants to be my volunteer? Me. Who say me? Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Okay, Kevin, give me a number from one, uh, from two to ten. Eight. Number eight. Okay. So Sam feels hungry. Tell me, Kevin, what did Kelly say? Kelly said that Sam felt hungry. Very good job. <laughs> That's the one. So pay attention here, everyone. If I say Sam, do I need to change that name or can I leave it as it is? What do you think? Can I change the proper names or can I leave the names exactly as they are? It's not necessary to change is. That's because uh, it's a direct uh, people. If, exactly. If you see, guys, Remember the rules. If we go back to the main one, it says that we need to change the pronoun, not the proper name. So when you have proper names, it's not necessary to change it. So exactly as Kevin said, we just can say Sam. There's no problem at all. The only things that he changed is the verb feels into past. Felt. Very good. Now, Kevin, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Mm -hmm. Let me check. Uh, Carlos Ernesto. <laughs> Carlos Ernesto, give me a number, please. Which one? Okay, let's see. Number six. Number six. Okay. I want to eat lunch. Hmm. What did Kelly say? Kelly says uh, he wants Okay, try it again. He or she? She. Uh-huh. She. 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 Uh, she wants to eat lunch. Mm. She, she wants. Okay, I'm going to write it. So, Kelly, Kelly. said that she, that she wanted. Ah, wanted. pay attention here. 
because Can I be have better. two verbs. I yeah. have the verb want and I have the verb to eat. My question is, everyone, which verb do I need to change? The first or the second one or both? The second one. The second one? The first one. The first one. Any other idea? Or both? First one. The first one? First one. First one. First one. For me, teacher. So, look at this one. The ones that we need to change is the first one. What is the past form of want? Wanting. Very good. Wanting. Now, if you see after want, I have the uh, preposition to. The preposition to indicates infinity. So the second verb, we don't need to change it. Now, in this case, just imagine that instead of two, we have another proposition. For example, imagine that I say, um, let's see, let's see. I eat and drink a lot. I have two verbs. I don't have the preposition to. I have a connector that is and. In the reported speech, what would be the reported speech? What did she say? She said that. She said that. Uh -huh. She eight. ate and drank drunk a lot. Look at the difference. I have two verbs here, and in the previous sentence, I also had two verbs. But why I didn't change it? Because of the preposition. The preposition indicates that the verb is in infinitive. That means no changes. But in the second sentence, I don't have the preposition too. I have a connector. And so that's why I'm going to change both verbs. I ate and drank. Got it, everyone? Uh, repeat, please. I, I, I am lost. Okay. I am lost the, the, the example. Okay, pay attention. I'm going to explain again. In the first sentence, guys, I have two verbs, want, and I have eat, but I have the preposition to. When I have the preposition to, indicates that the verb is in infinitive. That's why I don't change the verb. I only change the first one. So the reported speech will be, Kelly said that she wanted to eat. To eat lunch. Mm -hmm. But in the second example, it says, I eat and drink, and drink in this case. In the reported speech, do I need to change both verbs? or only one? What do you think? Only one. Only one, mm -hmm. but I don't have the preposition to. I have a okay. connector. That is the difference. If I have a connector that is and, so I need to change both verbs. Eat and drink, so the reported speech, it will be, she said she ate and drank. That's the difference. Got it? A little bit better? Let me give you another Got example. It. Let me give you another example, and you have to tell me if you need to change both verbs or only one. <laughs> Imagine, guys, that I say, um, I study and learn oops, a new language. 
What did she say? What do you think? Do I need to change both verbs or only one? Both. Both verbs. Both. Okay, so what will be the reported the speech? I studied. She, she studied. said that she studied. Uh -huh. She studied. And learned a new language. Ah, ah, very good. So she said that she studied and learned. Okay, so I have. And that's why we need to change both verbs. Let's see another example. Imagine that I say, I went to visit my father. So she said, what do you think? Do I need to change both verbs or only one? Only one. Only one. So what would be the report of the speech? She uh -huh. want, want her, she wanted to follow to visit. Oh, in this case, want, I'm sorry, I want have to say go. No. <laughs> I go to visit. She so went to visit her father. Went, very went visit. good. Look at this one. Do I need to say she went visited? No. 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 Okay. That is the one that you have to keep in mind. Now, this is the same, guys. Imagine that I have a model. For example, if I say, I can speak English. Do I need to change both verbs, can and speak, or only no. one? Only one. So only what one. is the report of the speech? She, she said, said uh -huh. she, she can Mm, she can she speak. She what is the past form will, of can? Will, will. She will. She will. could. Will. How about a speak? Do I need to change speak in simple past? No. 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 All right. So I just wanted to see, guys, when do we need to change both verbs and when we need to change only one. Is it clear, everybody? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yes. Yes. Okay. Pretty good. Let's continue. Carlos Ernesto, pick one of your classmates, please. Yeah. Andrea. Andrea. Hello, Andrea. Hello. Give me one number, please. Okay. Um. Four. Number four. Uh -huh. I have some. Free time. What did Kelly say? Okay, she said that I had some free time. Okay, I'm going to write it. She said, said that uh, that had some free time. Oh, that I that had some free time like this, Andrea. Yes. All right. So, did she change the verb into past? Yes. Yes. There is only one detail. It's missing something. What is it? Maybe she, again, she yeah. said that she. Oh, okay. ah. mm -hmm. If you see, I have the mm -hmm. pronoun I. I have some free time. So, we cannot omit the subject. I need to include okay. the subject. Uh -huh. So simple like that. She said that she, she had some free time. That is the one, exactly. Don't forget guys to always say the subject. Andrea, pick okay. one of your classmates, please. Um, Amanda. Amanda, give me a number. Um. Number two, I can't go to work. What did she say? Uh, she said she wouldn't went to work. Do I need to change the second verb? No, just the first one. Ah. Mm -hmm. okay. This is a model. So only the first verb is going to change. So, okay. can you repeat the sentence? 
She said she wouldn't go, go to work. That is the one. Excellent. And if you see, guys, the second sentence is in negative. But it doesn't matter if the sentence is in negative, it's exactly the same. You just need to say the sentence in simple past, but in negative too. Amanda, pick one of your classmates, okay. please. Um, Nelson. Nelson, give me a number. Seven. Number seven. I don't feel well. What did she say? Uh, Kelly said that she didn't feel well. Very good job. Again, guys, we have a sentence in negative. In simple present, the auxiliary is don't. What is the auxiliary in simple past? Did. Very good. So she says she didn't feel well. Very good. Nelson, pick someone, please. Um, Eulise. Thank you. Eulise, can you give me a number? Five. Number five. I'm late for class. What did she say? She said, I was late for class. All right. Mm, so she said, I was late for class. Oh. So something really good is that you change the verb in past. That's great. But remember that, what is the other rule that we need to remember? We need to change the pronoun. The so instead of saying I, Elisa, if I'm talking about Kelly, what is the pronoun she, that I need? She was. Very good. So she said she was late for class. Got it, everybody? Got it. Yeah? Yes. Any questions so far, guys, about the reported speech? Uh, in, the, uh, in the... In the... In the question... For the the question seven or mm -hmm. the, the example the example seven is the shame don't or feel oh we change the auxiliary in the number seven bodies we say ah she said she didn't Did. feel well feel. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. we change the auxiliary not the verb any, mm -hmm. any other question, everyone? No? Okay. No. So basically, that is what you have to remember about the reported speech. Just don't forget the two rules. Change the pronoun and change the verb into past. As simple as that. Got it, everyone? Yes. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That was just a review about the class for last week. So now let's start for the topic for today. As I mentioned, we are going to describe tips to apply when shopping online. So let's start uh, with some questions and I want to listen to your opinions, everyone. Uh, can you see the presentation? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay. So the first question is, how often do you purchase items online? How often? Everyone? Every, every week, every month. Uh-huh. Buddies, what do you say? <laughs> for, for me, every never. Month. <laughs> for, for women, never. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you guys, how often do you purchase online? Every month. Mm -hmm. Every month. Every month. Okay. And the rest of you guys? 
a few. I used to make just one big purchase. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. And you, everyone, I want to everybody participate. So give me your opinion. How often do you purchase online? Sometimes, never. Oh, but I have an exception because I refer to, for example, Amazon or eBay. Uh -huh. But if we include the deliveries or my medicine, I maybe I purchase each two days or, <laughs> or twice That's, a week. That is important. Remember, guys, when we are talking about purchase, we are not just talking about Amazon or eBay or those kind of websites. No, we can purchase different things. I can buy food online, right? I'm using a website. So anyone else? How Amanda, you? we buy almost every day. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but it's just like a dream. Ah, okay. So, Emily and I uh, used to vain just uh, looking around on eBay, Amazon, <laughs> and we compare products, shoes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, all right. And the boys? How about you, boys? How often do you purchase items online? Um, in my case, I often buy two times a um, month. Twice um, a month? Because, yes, in the month. Mm -hmm. But it's not about eating, maybe food. Ah, um, okay. Very good. Anyone else? Another boy? How often, guys? Never? In my opinion, never. Never? Okay. So tell me, guys, what do you think? Is it safe to buy things online? Yes or no? What do you think? It yes. depends. Mm -hmm. Why? Because there is a lot of pace or apps that we maybe don't know or have unknown. Or for example, you know, if you use um, websites like Alibaba or far, far away sites, you used to add um, in warning of it. maybe you can't receive the product or there is a lot of links that looks like fraudulent links link okay for example. that's a very good point another idea guys what do you think is it safe to purchase online uh, you have to know how to <laughs> how to i'm sorry how to purchase for example uh, for, for example you have to to choose uh, a very safe app where to buy. That's a good idea. Kevin, what were you saying? The same, that it depends of the website that are you using or the e-commerce. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. For eBay, I think uh, the better, op better option is to check um, the seller rate mm -hmm. to be sure who to buy your products. Okay, sounds good. Now, that is basically what we are going to be talking about. Because if we are going to purchase online, sometimes it can be a little bit dangerous. So to avoid any kind of inconvenience, what do you have to do? Or what do you have to be careful about while purchasing online? What do you think? What are some tips that you can provide? What do I need to do? I used to register my on a credit card, on a specific credit card oh. for my purchases. 
not my debit card. Ah, that's a good idea. So it's better to use credit card instead of debit card. I think because the credit cards usually had a, an a purchase takers. Mm -hmm. okay. And you can avoid any fraud on your own money. Ah, okay. That sounds interesting. But what be else? careful. It depends on the bank. Some banks uh, may automatically add some yeah. money to your account if it's a debit card. So uh -huh. be careful with that. That's another good point. Okay. What else? What else can I do, guys? Or what recommendations can you give me if I want to purchase online? Uh -huh. Maybe don't save the credit card in the website where you are making your purchase uh -huh. and write it only the the time when you are making the the purchase. Yeah, that's good. Exactly. Don't keep the files, right? Don't save it as favorite. Some people even save it as a favorite and even with the password and everything, right? So don't do it. Anything else? What else? Another I, idea? I think uh, that you have to uh, be careful when you write your address because Sometimes you address is wrong and the purchase goes to somewhere else. <laughs> That's another one. Remember what we were talking about last week? Some of your classmates never received the product, right? And that <laughs> might happen. So very little details that we need to take, keep in mind, right? In order to have a safe for a chase. That is what we are going to discuss in this class. Now, the idea, guys, is to combine this topic, tips about purchasing online, and combine it with the topics that we have been studying, that is the reported speech. So let's review for the ones that couldn't be here in the class. We are going to review a little bit more the the vocabulary and the structure for the reported speech. Now, let's see, I have here a conversation. Uh, Lucas is telling Saul about his plans to open an e-store, okay? And he wants to sell his handicraft. Do you remember the meaning for handicraft? Yeah. Yes. What is it? Made by hand stuff. Very good, exactly. So let's read this conversation. You are going to find some sentences in the reported speech. Um, these conversations, everyone, is in your manuals. Okay, so in the page 12. Who wants to read? I need to volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you. Me, both. teacher. Evelyn, Me. thank you. Yes. Thanks. Okay, uh, Evelyn, you will be Jesse. Boris, you will be Hank. Go ahead. Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought his excellent deal online. I check it and there is a new laptop for only 199. And I, I called a store and it is uh, 900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Why a second? That sounds sub suspicious. Suspicious. Let me suspicious. Let me take a good look at the web page before you enter your car number in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. Uh, a friend, a friend say you have to make sure that the she site is secure. You have to look to look up for a small Pablo symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Expert, oh. experts mentioned on the TV that credit card offer product protection 
from identifying debts that debit cards done. So you were using a credit card. All right. Now, if you pay attention to the conversations, which sentences are we using with the recorded speech? What do you think? Uh, a friend a said. Friend said a ah. friend said. So we have different sentences. For example, a friend said he bought this excellent deal online. Another mm -hmm. recorded speech? Maybe experts mention mention uh -huh. on TV that credit cards offer uh, protection for identity thief that debit cards don't. Yes. Very good. And, and a friend and... said that you had to make sure that the site is secure. Very good. So look at this one. Here we have some tips, and they are using. Report the speech, okay? Pretty good job. Now let's see if you paid attention to the uh, reading and let's answer some questions. Question number one. A friend tells me there is excellent deal online. Uh-huh. What is a report of the speech? A friend told me <laughs> there... There was this excellent deal online. Very good. We don't say tells anymore. Remember, simple oh. fast. A friend told me there was. was. Very good. Next one. A friend says you have to make sure that the site is secure. Reported the speech. Huh? A friend uh, told me. Uh, a friend said. A friend told me that I had to make that I had uh, to make sure that the site is secure. Very good. Uh, that is the one. In this case, guys, if you say you, is your friend talking to you? So we say and we change it with. Hi, sounds Hi. good. Then experts say credit cards offer protections from identity theft that debit cards don't. So, experts said credit cards offers offered protection from identity theft that debit cards didn't. Very good. That is the one. So remember, guys, to change the verb into simple past. That is the one. Now, if you see, again, this information is on your manuals in the page 12. So you can see the explanation of the reported speech. That is basically what we studied last week. If you see, what is the meaning? of the reported speech. Can you read it, please? What is the to function? To express to, express to a, a peer person the words that somebody has said using reported speech. Very good. So we are just repeating what the other person said and the rules, right? We need to change the pronouns and we need to change the verbs from simple present into simple past. So this is just a box, a review of the grammar that we can find on your manuals, okay? If it is some questions, you can review here the structure. Now, let's have some exercises. I have here some sentences. Tell me what the reported speech is. If I said, um, big online stores say trusted brands have a strong reputation. Hmm, what is the reported speech? Big online stores said 
trusted brands had a strong reputation. Look at this one. That is the one. Now, Kevin, can you pick one of your classmates? Let me see. Mm, Andrea? <laughs> Amanda. For, oh, Amanda. Amanda. Amanda, what is the number two? Can you tell me, please, the recorded the speech? Okay. Uh, especially said uh, people is uh, people was more secure than debit cards. Very good. So, PayPal is or PayPal was? Was. PayPal was. was. That is the one. Don't forget to change the verb. Hey, Amanda, pick someone, please. Okay. Uh, maybe Eulise. Eulise. Okay, Eulise, number three. Can you tell me the report of the speech, please? Um, it's raining, it's raining right now. Oh, okay, but, uh, but can you see it or should I pick someone else? Okay, uh, I... friends say uh -huh. they offer the their wear to do. To be through my via chain. All right. I'm not sure. That is the one. Look at these little details, everyone, because this sentence is very interesting. Remember, a friend said, right, that in that thing, in this case, I have the verb to be are. Instead of are, we say okay. where, right? So far, so good. Now I have a model. The model is May. So what is the past form of the model May? May. Exactly. So we say a friend said offers that were too good to be true. Instead of May, we say might. Might be as can pretty good Eulise can you pick one of your classmates please okay um, Lorena okay Lorena number four what is the report of the speech mm, Blower says mobile phone networks we're more secure than public Wi-Fi. That's the one. Now, can I say a blogger said or a blogger said? Said. That's the one. Excellent. A blogger said. And we change the verb to be into simple past. Perfect. Lorena, pick the last one, please. Uh, Sigfrido. Thank you. Sigfrido, number five. What is the report of the speech? Let me think. Um, consumers report that deals were often hiding in wet flesh. Okay, what is the past form of report? Report. report. Very good. Consumers reported. Remember, we need to change all of the verbs into past. Deals were often hiding in websites pretty good so that is basically guys the report of the speech combining with some tips to buy online so what do you think about these tips big online stores said trusted brands had a strong reputation is that a good tip for example imagine amazon is a big brand so they had a strong reputation. Is that true? Yes. Yes, it's true. Okay. So is it better to buy on those strong brands 
or it's better to buy on those small websites, small brands that maybe nobody knows about them. Which one do you prefer? We can find something cheaper than the big store. That's another point. Exactly. So, but some of the um, most important tips, and that's what everybody also says, is that it's better if you buy on those big brands because of they have like better reputation. Now, the second tip, look at this one. Uh, use PayPal, it's safer than debit cards. What do you think about it? Is that true? I believe that the PayPal, uh, all transaction for, for example, for me, mm -hmm. they, all the transaction. Okay. Is safer than debit cards or not? What do you think, guys? Is more secure to pay with PayPal? Mm, I think it's more secure because you don't mm, expose your credit um, card data to websites that you are not sure that they are secure because PayPal has that information and they only mm, have you only have to have to um, log in with your PayPal account and on that website and pay, but you don't have to put um your uh, credit card information in in on secure sites. Sounds good. Yeah, so sounds like a good tip. How about the next tip, guys? Is that a good idea? It says that. Um, um, there are some offers that are wow, like, oh my gosh, this is a big offer. Sometimes <laughs> they are not a good idea. What do you think yeah. about it? I think it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Um, because sometimes um do you see ads on your uh mail or when are you visiting visiting another website? that says that our deals and um, really hard to believe that are true. Mm -hmm. Like you won one iPhone for, you only have to pay $1 for it. So <laughs> that's not sounds really, really trusting. <laughs> that's true. So you have to be careful. That's a good tip. Be careful with those great uh, offers that, Mm -mm, maybe that's suspicious. They just wanted to get your attention. That's true. Exactly. So be careful with those promotions. Another tip that we have here is, uh, is a good idea, guys, if you want to buy something online, is a good idea to be connected on a public Wi-Fi thread? Um, no. Not it's never no, because your information the the people can access um what are you searching on the web or what are you writing because the connection in wipes in public wi-fi almost any times is uh, open so anyone can um, intercept what are you sending to the websites or what info are you typing on your devices that's true so guys, be careful. And I think that that is very common, right? We most of the time when we see Wi-Fi, some people connect just because it's free. So we should be careful with that. Now, if you see, we have different tips, but we need to think about our own tips because of the time we need to continue moving. Now, we already practice grammar. So let's try to practice speaking. I want you guys in this moment to have to write five tips, okay? Five tips that you have heard from your friends, okay? Or from your family or from your teachers, 
or from someone else, okay? Or maybe something that you read or something that you listen to on the radio, I don't know, but write five tips, okay? And these tips are about shopping online. Tell me all those recommendations if you want to buy to shop online. And you have to use the reported speech to report it to your classmates. For example, imagine that I'm going to give you a suggestion. And I say, okay, guys, you know, my mother said, and this is what my mother say, buy only on websites you know and trust. So how can I use this reported? Ah, she said or she should uh, suggested that. Uh huh. You bought. Ah, okay. You bought. Bought only on what side? Uh -huh. You knew and trust and trusted. You knew and trusted. That's the one. Okay, so that is exactly what you have to do. You have to write a tips, okay? And tell the tips to your classmates, okay? Think about the person who says the tips. Now, pay attention what your classmate says because later I will ask you. For example, I can ask, imagine that um, I ask, Kevin is working with Lorena, for example. And Lorena says a tip. Then I will ask Kevin, okay, Kevin, what did Lorena say? What were her tips? Ah, mm -hmm. Lorena told me ah, that I bought on websites that I trusted. Ah, okay. And then I go to Lorena. Lorena, what tips did Kevin say? Ah, okay, teacher. Kevin suggested that I didn't use my debit card. Got it? Yes. So you can write the five tips and you can write it, guys, like a normal sentence. Is your classmate the one that need to tell me the direct speech? Is it clear? What are we going to do right now? Yes? Okay, I will give you three minutes to write your tips and then we are going to go to the breakup rooms in order that you listen what your classmate had to say. You have three minutes. Write everybody the five tips. Go ahead. Write five tips if you want to buy or if you want to purchase online. If you have a question, just let me know. Five tips, everyone. Think about some tips that maybe your friends told you in the past. Try to remember. Or invent. Invent five tips. Go ahead. You have two more minutes.
Right, the five tips, everybody. Do you have the five tips ready or not yet? Uh -huh. Not yet? Okay, we'll give you one more minute. Go ahead. Okay, everybody, do you have your five tips ready? Yes? Not yeah. yet. No yet? All right, and the rest of you guys? Yes? Yes. yes. No yet. <laughs> no yet? Okay, one more minute. And after this one more minute, if you don't have the five tips ready, you can have just the ones that you get, okay? One more minute, think about it. Invent, no problem, guys. Even if your tips are not totally good or trusted, I mean, invent. Okay, everybody, I hope you're ready. We are going to go to the breakup rooms. Now, you will, be, you will be working in groups, okay? So you have to pay attention what your classmate says. Try to understand their tips because later I will ask you. And when I ask you, you have to use the reported speech to tell me what your classmate said. Is it clear the activity? Everyone? Yes. Any questions before going to the breakup rooms? No questions? Okay. Now, listen. I know that I have here some listeners. So, guys, for the ones that are listeners, uh, I think that you are not going to be able to join to the main room. I mean, to the breakup rooms. Okay? So, if you are in a group that nobody is participating, let me know, and I will switch you to another group. Let's go to work, everybody. Please participate in full English. Let's go.
Hello, Osman. Hello, Jose. Hello. <coughs> Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Carlos. Hello, Osman. Hey, I, I can't see you. <laughs> yeah. What uh, about you, people? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are behind. Only, you are behind. On the room. camera. <laughs> huh? Okay. Hey, or, wait, wait, wait. Show, show, show us your face. <laughs> the communication is better. <laughs> okay. I understand the teacher when when nobody yeah. want a uh, show show us the 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 camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I I we we can we can speak we can speak or we can. Uh, talk about tips. Yeah. Uh, I, I have, I have one. I, I have also for me number one. PayPal is more secure to purchase online. I think, uh, uh, I believe that. Uh, and you. Um, the the truth from I, I don't I don't usually buy uh, online uh, it's not common for me uh, but I know it's some some important uh, today uh, I know there are a lot of places trusted to buy uh, but uh, I think we 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 get care uh, to buy. For example, at uh, a key, a tips. Maybe when when you want to buy, uh, we we had to choose a trusty site. Trusty, trusty, trust, trust, trust. Uh, confiable, trusty. How do you say? Uh, trusty, trust, trust, trust. Trust. Uh, trust. It's trust. <laughs> because, because, because if, if, if you if you if you see the quarter the the, the money uh, okay the quarter, the quarter dollar <laughs> you, you, can, you can read you can read in God we trust yes okay <laughs> I know the okay. trust yes we okay. we can buy a only in on and trust sites also okay. uh uh, we, uh, we we can if, if you want to buy we can use a credit card that have lower balance for example you you can buy you can use a credit card only balance is for example two hundred dollars yes I, I i don't i don't know if you understand me yeah, uh, uh, this moment is raining. It's, it's, oh, it's raining. raining okay. in my house. Okay. But I, 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 I uh, heard you. Okay, Salvador, you can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can. Okay. Uh, I, I told you if you want to buy uh, online, I recommend you. Uh, the credit card, uh, the credit card, be the credit, card, the credit, the credit card bill lower balance. Uh, the meaning is, uh, I, I'm sorry, I go, I going to speak in Spanish. Lo que quiero decir es que la tarjeta de crédito tenga saldos bajos. No Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, are you there? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm always here. <laughs> yes, teacher, but but I but I but I can explain in Spanish. I, I in English. Please, I'm sorry. Mm. I I need to use uh, a little words in Spanish. <laughs> no more Spanish from now, okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Continue, uh, 
other 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 tips uh, is we can we can ask for reference for re referring referring re referencia references uh, we can ask for reference uh, other people uh, about the plat platform in the start it's important Yes, and Alexis said that, adios, bye bye. <laughs> and Alexis said that uh, you can vouch directly of a fabricant or manufacturer. I listen very well or not? <laughs> yes, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. 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 I got it, I got it. <laughs> and three, uh, I agree about the the review the the opinions about the last customer on the store <laughs> or the other customer in the store. Hmm? Yes, yes. In, in different uh, words, but the all say the the same recommendation. Yes. <laughs> Okay. It's raining. I'm living in Santa Tecla. Oh, okay. And it's raining also. Yeah, I live in Santa Tecla too. Mm, I live in Ciudad Arte. <laughs> so yeah. far. Yeah, it's far. But in El Salvador, everything everything is closed. So not that, yeah. not that much. <laughs> You can ask someone. So, teacher, are you are you there? Of course, <laughs> I'm always here. <laughs> Hello. Okay, we're done. Do you already provided all of your tips? Yes. Did you pay attention what your classmate said? Yes. Yes, and, and, <laughs> also, <laughs> and I, I also have a uh, four of the tips that they say to me mm, okay did your classmates speak in spanish no. no are you sure yes perfect a little, a little bit tatarata. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but that's but that's the idea to improve little by little i'm going to check just one more group and then we are going to go back to the main room okay, okay. so okay. you can continue talking always in english Okay. 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 Sure. Continue, continue. I'm listening. Hey, we were discussing some tips. Huh? Another tip, everyone? Mm -hmm. No more tips? The tips are complicated ones. Uh -huh. Not just simple tips. Um, maybe say if your Porsche is close or she is online, be sure about the size. If not, it's probably uh, big clouds or it's uh, small issues and yeah because the size can be different <laughs> you have to be pretty sure about it what else another tip uh, teacher uh-huh uh i have the sentence but i don't know if is is correct Go ahead. Uh, uh when you buy online you must check the price and the product um exactly yeah that's a good tip because imagine guys you need to be sure about what's the price that you will pay for it and you have to be sure what is the product that you are buying yeah that's a good tip another tip Anyone else? 
Um, I said three tips. Um, uh, we need to bring a glasses of water every day. Uh, that was one. The second one, I have to wipe my handicraft at night. Uh, and the last one, I'm not sure is is good, but practice make the master. So I I don't know is the verb is the correct. Because I, if I write it in, in Google to, to, to be sure, uh, all right, change it to going, going, practice going the master. But I don't know, is practice make the master or going the master? Okay, but in that case, those are tips for what? So, uh, if I want to be uh, better in something, uh, I, I need to practice. So in this uh, in the Spanish is something like that. Practice make the master. I, I know is is good. good. Like, yeah. I mean the yeah. the tip is good, but remember that right now we need to provide tips to buy online. Um, okay. So for example, what your classmate said, ah, if you want to buy it online, you need to pay attention in the price, in the product, mm -hmm. in the size. So that is the tips mm -hmm. that we need to provide about. Okay, so okay. what do you think? Can you think about some recommendations, some tips for your classmates? Um, for example, on like Simang. So you recommend to buy on Simang.com? Yes, Why? yes. Uh, because uh, a different promotion, promotion items. Okay. And the, uh, uh, for example, um, the light, the light white, and different product. Mm, okay. So if you see your classmate suggested that you can buy it on in this website, right? Siman.com. Okay, that's a recommendation. What else, Carlos? What is what can you think about it? Carlos Mauricio. Ah, I think it's good idea uh, so the text uh, 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 the, the people depends on the thing that we are we are going to buy. Uh, depends the the place that we should be uh, take to the to buy it. Ooh, okay. Sounds good. Okay, everyone, we don't have more time. We need to go back to the main room. I hope you paid attention to your classmates, okay? Because I'm going to ask you to use your report the speech, okay? Uh, let's see. Let's go back to the main room, everyone. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's wait for everybody. Let's see, let's see. Let's wait for your classmates. Let's go back, everyone. How was the practice? Did your, class... <laughs> Did your classmate give good tips? What do you yes. think? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay, and you guys? What do you think? Did your classmates give good tips? What do you think? Yes? Good tips or bad tips? Definitely, yes. Ah, sounds good. Did your classmates use Spanish to explain the tips? Never, teacher, never. No. <laughs> I hope. Never in the life. Mm, I hope so, guys. I hope so. Okay, now, the idea, guys, and I expect that you paid attention to your classmate. Did you? Yes? <laughs> Did you pay attention to your classmates? Yes. Ah, okay. Oh, of sure. course. Of yeah, we course, did. teacher. Uh, all right. So let's see if it is true. I will be interviewing you and you have to tell me what your classmate said. Of course, use some reported speech. So let's start. I'm going to ask to Osman Enrique. 
Osman, you were working with Salvador and with Carlos. Okay, Osman, tell me, what are the tips? What did they say? Uh, tips was, if you want to buy online, you is recommend you you your credit card have lower balance. Sorry, who said that? <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, sounds good. Okay, Carlos Ernesto, what did Osman say? Can you use it, the report of the speech? What did he say? Uh, Osman, um, he said that he <laughs> uh, uh, prefer, prefer to buy um, basically to arrive the store. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> <laughs> More or less. Are you sure? You have to listen to your classmates, everyone. If you don't listen to your classmates, you won't be able to report what they said. Be careful, be careful. <laughs> okay. Um, let me ask Lorena. You were working with Nelson and with Alexis. So Lorena, can you tell me one of the tips that they said? Uh, okay. Um Alexis uh, said that I uh bought directly of uh, manufacturers um, um Nelson said that I can uh, check the review from other customers only okay. this I remember <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but you remember that, sounds good. Okay, Nelson, how about you? Tell me one of the tips that Lorena said. Okay, Lorena uh, told me, took me, sorry, told me, sorry, sorry, uh, that uh, she, she had to find a good deliver. Okay, sounds good. Uh -huh, and Alexis. Oscar, uh, Oscar told me um, he didn't share the data in any website. Ah, okay, that sounds interesting. Yes. I see that you paid attention. Sure. <laughs> How about you, Alexis? What did Nelson or Lorena say? I don't remember anything. Ah, come on. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> I remember I remember Nelson said uh, she <laughs> Nelson, no, I can she mean that. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Nelson said <laughs> Nelson said she <laughs> Nelson said he uh, review the no no Nelson said he checked the stars from the from the the, the product <laughs> and Lorena and Lorena told us uh, she preferred to pay with credit cards nice okay just be careful with the pronouns okay pretty good i like that okay very good i can see that team paid a lot of attention to each other nice job okay then i have andrea was working with evelyn and with kevin andrea tell me one of the tips that kevin said okay kevin said that he uh have or he write uh he wrote 
a strong password. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Okay. Yes. Let's see, let's see. Evelyn, tell me one of the tips that Andrea said. Andrea suggested me that I had to read the reviews when I had, when I had to buy something on any new place, a new website. Okay, very good. Ah, you paid attention. Kevin. Tell me one of the tips that Evelyn said to you. Just to be honest, I'm not sure who who said it. When <laughs> I write it, just to remember it, okay. uh, one of one of they said that um, you had to check the sellers before um, buying your product you have to check um the reviews of the seller before uh shop okay and good that you and another one that uh you could ask someone if they ever brought brought something on the website before you Okay, pretty good. Nice job, team. I can see that you paid attention to each other. I like that. Very good, very good. Now, let's move on to the team. Carlos, Eulice, and Sifrido. Carlos, Dominguez, tell me one of the tips that Eulice said. Carlos, you there? Okay, in that case, the other Carlos Mauricio, can you tell me one of the tips that Eulise said? Uh, I remember the Sigfrido. Ah, okay. Sigfrido's tip. Go ahead. <laughs> tell us, tell us. What did he um, say? Um Sigfrido said something about padlock in the uh, in the um, URL, URL, uh, we need to check uh, appears to be sure uh, the page is safe. Mm, okay, so he said we need. What is the past of need? Um, in past, need. Uh -huh. <laughs> What is we the needed to check. That needed. is the one. Excellent. Remember, we need to change the verb into the past. We needed to check. Very good. Okay, Sifrido, tell me one of the tips that your classmate mentioned. I have to understand. Uh, Carlos said something about the practice makes master. Uh, applying to the e-commerce is like the... Is, he said that if you were practice, you become a master shopping online or something like that. Um, the other one uh, said uh, that he checked out the price carefully before purchase something online. Sounds good. That sounds like a good tip. Elise, can you tell me one of the tips that your classmate mentioned? Okay, um, Mauricio said, um, he, he needs, uh, some H, uh, sunglasses during the day. I remember that. What and is the pass, what is the pass of need? Needed. Ah, that is the one. He needed. Mm-hmm. Um, and exactly, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Remember that, Cipriano. <laughs> All right. Okay, but just that one. That was good. Thank you, Elise. All right. Let's move on to. I can see Boris. Uh, was working with Edwin and Pamela. So, Pamela, can you tell me one of the tips that your classmate provided? 
Um, yes, um, Boris said that he that he searched searched the return and the um, yes the return policies of the pages and the websites. Okay, sounds like a good fit. So, what is the past um, form of search? Search it. Pronunciation. Search. 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 That is the one. Uh -huh. Do okay, you have and I yes, and I would say that um, he preferred to use credit cards when he shop online. Okay, pretty good. Nice, nice job. Now, Boris, tell me one of the tips that Pamela said. Uh, Pamela said that she didn't use the debit card. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Only that, not, not remember. <laughs> okay, but uh, you're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And let me ask, is missing someone? There is someone I haven't asked. Salvador. Salvador, tell me one of the tips that your classmate mentioned. Repeat, please, teacher. Tell me, tell me what are the tips that your classmate mentioned. Do you remember? Yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Tell me, tell me what are the tips that your classmate said? He said uh -huh. use, use credit card with, with low balance. Okay. Nice. Used the credit card and let's see Amanda did I ask you no right so no, I had a lot of connection <laughs> yeah I'm sorry but could you listen <laughs> could you listen to some of the tips that your classmate said yes okay so can you repeat it using reported speech well the last uh, tip is uh, that they say that you need to you need use, it? you need it to use a you need to use a low low balance credit card uh, or debit card. Very also, good. Also, they say you needed to uh, check the return policy. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So everybody, is it easy or difficult to report what your classmate said? What do you think? Easy, difficult? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Can you hear me, everyone? Yeah, but I, I think it's, it's something about <laughs> the company. And, hello. You know. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the tone, the tone. I'm sorry. <laughs> the lights went out. What happens, guys, is that here in my city, it's, it's raining so strong. So, yeah, I'm sorry. But I'm back. You were talking in English, right? Can you hear me, everybody? Yes. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on with the lights. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, were you talking in English? 
when I wasn't here? Yes, of course. Yes, yes we did it. Oh, Car right. Yes, Car Carlos say the teacher. When the lights go out. Ah, okay, pretty the good. The teacher grow in WhatsApp. Bye bye. Say something here. Ah, sure. No, I say wait for a moment. Okay, but thanks for staying, guys. Now, before oh, continue. No, not again. <laughs> Okay, before oh, continue, oh, okay. listen, okay. listen, I'm going to check attendance, okay? So when you listen to your names, say present. Um, Let's see, Amanda. Amanda, are you there? Welcome back, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you hear me? I don't know yeah. if you can hear yes, me. Yes, we can. Yes. I'm sorry, what's going on? Um, me están hackeando. I, I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome again. But, but who is? Bye bye. I, I, think, I think someone <laughs> is hacking me. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. This 15 minutes rule. Okay. Ah. Oh my gosh, the lights went out again. I'm sorry. Okay. Can you hear me, Amanda? I'm checking attendance, everyone. So, Ana Lorena? I'm back. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, give, me, give me a second, give me a second. I, I, I think that someone was hacking my computer. Yeah. Who's the one? Kevin, so, Kevin. It's really important <laughs> to have a strong password. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm going to change it. Okay. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, everyone, but I expect that everything goes well for the rest of the class. Now, I'm going to check attendance. That's what I was trying to do. So when you listen to your name, say present. Let me check the list. <laughs> ah, <laughs> all right, Kat. All right. So let's see, let's see. Amanda? Present. Eh, Ana Lorena? Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander. Present. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. Okay. Carlos Ernesto. Present. Eh, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Edwin Antonio. Okay. Elias Neftalí. Um, Irma Evelyn. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador. Present, teacher. Very good. Cosman Atilio. Okay. Uh, Kevin Alexander. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo. Uh, Maria Jose. Nelson Alberto. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexis. Good teacher. Okay. Osman Enrique. Present. Okay. Um, Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael Alexander. Okay. Ricardo. Present. Okay. Thank you. Um, Ricardo Ernesto. I'm Lister. Okay, very good. Thank you. Ciprido Ernesto. Present teacher. All right. Wilber Alberto. And Andrea Jamilet. Present. Very good. Thank you. Okay, let's teacher. continue. Yeah. I didn't hear my name. Eulise. Okay, let me yes. check. Okay, but I already checked your attendance. Thanks for telling me. Did I mention everyone? Yes? Okay. 
Now, we are going to talk about, or we have been talking about some tips about buying online. We already practice grammar. We already practice speaking. So right now, we are going to practice reading, okay? I need guys, and I will need volunteers for reading. But first, let's answer some questions. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. 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 Okay. Look at this one. Have you ever heard about this website, Alibaba.com? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. What type of product or services does Alibaba sell? Mm. Everything. For example. Yeah. Clothes, uh, earrings, yeah. necklaces, rings, technology, cases, clothes, shoes, jewelry, certain accessories, anything you you think you you, <laughs> you, you think you them. can find it. Vehicle mm -hmm. <laughs> parts. Ah, I can see. Bottles. I I have some frequent users of Alibaba. <laughs> now. Do you know, guys, who the founder of Alibaba is? No. Kevin? What yeah, is um, I, I can understand the question. Can you repeat, teacher, please? Yes. Who's the founder of Alibaba? Do you know that? It's not Jack. Jack Ma or something like that. Mm, okay. Everybody, do you agree? Maybe I'm... Um... Barely Arabic men. <laughs> could be, could be. <laughs> Do you know, guys, anyone who has shop at Alibaba besides your classmates? Because I can see some of you already shopped there, but do you know someone else, guys, who has shop at Alibaba? Yes. Yes? Cool. A friend. Ah, okay. And you guys, do you know someone? Yes? No? A friend, a relative, a co-worker maybe? Yes, my sister. Your sister? <laughs> okay, good. Okay, the last question. Do you know any business tip? from the founder of Alibaba? Have you ever heard a team that the founder provided? No. No. No, I don't know. No, I have never heard. All right. But no worries because here we are going to discover it. Listen, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but we lost like five minutes. So we are going to extend five minutes. Okay? I hope you don't matter about it. But we are going to finish this reading practice. I will need some volunteers for reading, okay? Let's see, mm. this reading, okay, I have Andrea, thank you. In this I, reading, guys, yes? We can see, can see the person, please. No, no worries, I'm opening the reading. Uh, leave me a second and I will share it again. But pay attention to the reading because later I will ask you some questions. We can have some surprise exam, okay? So, uh, Andrea, can you start reading the first paragraph, please? Okay, so in 1999, after leaving a government job, Jack Ma, Group of 18 people, including himself and his wife, and sold them a drink to found Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for small and medium enterprises based in China. In the early stages of, the, of the Alibaba, Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley to tech hub in the United States and was met with denials and his business model was criticized but was criticized to be unprof unprofitable and unsustainable by many at the moment. 
Okay, okay. 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 let's uh, let's stop there. So, did you pay attention to this paragraph? Yes. 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 Okay, I hope so. I need another volunteer, please, for reading the second paragraph. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead. In 2003, is still unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his team launched an online auction site named Taobao.com, charging zero commission and took on a multinational e-commerce giant, eBay. Pretty good. Pay attention to the details. Volunteer for reading the paragraph number three. Hi. Can. Yes, go ahead. Determined to win, Taobao remains a commission-free marketplace for millions of online traders. Online traders. And that did put Alibaba under significant financial strain to stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission's free policy. Ma and his team and his team began offering value added support services. Uh, for I example, don't know what's the meaning of EG. For example. Oh, for example, custom web page to online merchants for a small fee. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Then, volunteer for reading the last paragraph, please. Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in the less than five years, and eBay subsequently withdrew from China, Alibaba. A Fixed in years old e commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States is now one of the world's largest companies as measured by its market capitalization, approximately use the 200 billion. Wow, look at this one, $200 billion. Dollars. So that's a lot of money. Okay, this is a little bit, guys, a passage about that website. Anything important that you understood from this, web, uh, from this passage, everyone? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, go ahead, Kevin. Go ahead, Kevin. Okay. Go ahead, Kevin. That he and met Lisa. with many denials, um, um, because his business model was unprofitable and unsustainable, um, but at the end, it, it, it like the last one <laughs> said it right now it's valued valued like two hundred billions. Allah, that's true. Carlos, how about you? Uh, in my case, uh, I have little problems with some words. Uh, I can understand what, what is the meaning in the second paragraph. Uh, appears at Aution. I don't know. Uh, my instinct launch an online action. Uh, I don't know what is the last word. Oh. Aution. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. If you remember, guys, we studied these words. So, do you remember what auctions is? They are different offers. Yes. If you remember, this is when you are uh, trying to buy something and you receive a lot of offers. What is the translation for auctions? Subasta. Subasta. Exactly. So, Online auction, that is the meaning. Got it, Carlos? Yes, thank you. Pretty good, yeah. Okay, one more person, please. Anything else interesting or something that touched your attention in this paragraph? No? Did you pay attention to the reading, everyone? Yes. Okay, I hope so because 
it's time for the reading confrontation. And you have to answer some questions, everybody. And when you finish the questions, that is the last things that we are going to do. And we are going to end the class. We are going to answer a quiz. Okay, I have here, everybody, oh some questions. I told you to pay attention, everyone. Listen, you have to write your full name. Okay, for example, ah, Clarissa, Betsabe, Rivera, Escobar. Okay, full name. Then clicking next. Then you will find only four questions, everyone. Easy. Four questions. You just have to click in the correct answer and then click in send. When you click in send, automatically you will see your punctuation. In this case, I didn't answer, so I got zero. <laughs> but the idea, guys, is that you get 10. Okay? So we are going to do that practice a little bit fast, and we are going to finish with that. I'm going to send the link on WhatsApp group, but also, guys, I'm sending the link here in the chat. So open up the link, please. And let's start answering the questions. Let's see if you paid attention to the reading paragraph. I'm going to send the link on WhatsApp group too. So everybody, you can start. Don't forget to write your full name. Go ahead, go ahead. If you have questions, well, it's an exam, so I cannot give you the answer. Go ahead. Read carefully. Wow, I can see one person already sent the answers and I can see a 10. Very good job. Okay. I can see two people already sent it. Perfect punctuation. Very good. Hmm, okay, I can see some people paid a lot of attention. Okay. Easy or difficult? The ones that already finished, I can see a perfect score. Nice job. Okay, very good job, everyone. I can see perfect score. <laughs> nice. Okay, listen, because of the time, everybody has to answer the, uh, I mean, everybody has to answer this quiz. Send your answers, everyone, and I expect that you have a good score, okay? If you haven't finished, you can continue answering, okay? But we are going to stop the class right now. Because of the time today, I'm not going to ask anyone else to stay in the meeting that we have at the end of the class, okay? So everybody, thank you so much for staying and nobody is winner tonight. But everybody answer the questionnaire and tomorrow we are going to continue discussing about it. Any questions before leaving everyone? Yeah. No, teacher. Excellent. No, just one. Yeah. Just one. Yeah. Um, you said that we have to complete the, the activities on the website. Um, the platform? Yeah, the platform. So yeah. they, are, they are only five for this unit. Uh, yes, basically. The unit number one is pretty short, actually. Oh, okay. Yes. Because I, I please, I click next and it says unit two. Uh, I just if you want, want to, to know. If... No, if you want to advance in the unit number two, you can do it. In this week, oh. I'm just asking the unit number one. No worries. Oh, okay. Thank <laughs> yes. you. You're welcome. 
Okay, everybody, have a wonderful night. Try to rest and see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.